temporomandibular disorders. Boy, that's a big word, isn't it? What it really means is jaw sprain. It's simply put that often patients will get pain in their muscles of their jaw, can be both sides or one side, or their jaw joint or both. You know, 70% of patients experience pain in both the joint and the muscles of the jaw. So how would you know if you had TMD? Well, one of the most common symptoms is patients experience pain when they're chewing their food. Their jaw gets tired easily, so having a piece of steak is actually quite a lot of hard work. But patients can also experience chronic headache, and interestingly enough, ear pain and ear blockage. You know, you might be interested to know that 90% of patients who have TMD actually experience blocked ear as a symptom. So if you go to your GP, medical practitioner, and you say to them, my ears are blocked, and they tell you that your ear is actually quite normal, my suggestion is have a chat to your dentist, because it may be that you've got a sore jaw joint. How do we treat TMD? Well, you know, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. The first one is what can you do as a patient for yourself? So this might involve things like applying a heat pack to your face. You know, particularly aiming it over the jaw joint and these muscle areas here for about 20 minutes. You can also do things like elect to choose softer, eat softer foods. You might also consider when you're yawning, guarding how wide you open your mouth, reducing your range of movement. It also helps reduce the pain. But you know, you don't just have to do those things. I suggest strongly that you seek assistance from your dentist or again, seeing a specialist like myself in oral medicine. So we treat patients also by making them a special guard that they wear at night, which we also call a splint. And this is the splint. And it's a little device made to be worn over all the teeth. And when you place it in at night time, the reason we do this is because often many patients will clench or grind their teeth at night. Does that mean because you clench or grind your teeth at night, you're automatically gonna get a sore jaw? The answer is no. But we do know that people that do grind or clench their teeth are more likely to have symptoms of a sore jaw. It also, this device is made to protect your teeth. So sometimes we make devices for patients to be worn at night, sometimes we use treatments like I just touched on, and sometimes we also use physiotherapists and sometimes medicines. Again, if you're not sure what to do or you're not sure if you have a jaw problem, I suggest strongly you go and see your dentist.